Hey you guys, so these are the products I would be using for my wash day today. Now everything you see here will be for my pre-poo cleansing, which includes shampooing and conditioning, deep conditioning, and then my leave-in. So as a disclaimer, I did get some of my items on sale, actually on clearance. So um, everything together is gonna be $20, but I did title this video $25 and under, just in case the prices are different in your location. So as a pre-poo, I'm gonna be using just regular oil, and the Suave's conditioner. Now this conditioner at Walmart is less than three bucks. Sometimes I can get it for 250, okay? As a shampoo, I'm gonna be using Suave's Honey Infusion Strengthening Shampoo, and I got this on clearance for 39 cents. Now this is like 198 um, at Walmart, uh, sometimes 250 at a store such as Target or a grocery store. Gonna be using again the Suave conditioner as my um, rinse out. As a deep conditioner, I'm going to be using Aussie's 3 Minute Miracle Conditioner. Also purchased this at Walmart. It was like $275, $280, less than three bucks. I have some honey here, local honey, which is no more than four bucks. A olive oil ORS replenishing conditioner. Now, I do have the big tubs of this, but I want to show you guys that I'm using just this little package. This is $125 at Walmart. Also from Walmart is the Lotta Bodies Curl and Style Milk. You guys, I really do like this leave-in conditioner. Um, and this was less than four bucks. So I wanna say it's like $3.99. So for me personally, like all of this, less than 20 bucks. So let's- Are you guys, so my hair has been pent up in this updo for about four days now, and I'm just gonna take it down. I'm going to um, use a water mister, excuse me, to lightly mist my hair all over and then go in in small sections with the oil and also with um, the rinse out conditioner. Um, now I use quite a bit of oil working into my scalp and down my hair strands itself and I primarily finger detangle as much as possible but I do like to go in with the wooden comb and sometimes with the Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush. <laughs> Now it is time to shampoo my hair. Again, I purchased this product on clearance, but it is still affordable even at its regular price. A little difficult to um, shampoo my hair outside of the shower, but with this product, it has such a great lather, it's working even without having um, direct water on my hair. Focus, focus in the shampoo on my scalp and basically pushing that down the hair shaft and undoing those twists, okay? I spend time on the road long before I leave. These days looking like a dream since I've been on the road. Seeing shit I've never seen before and still there's no place to come. So I got smart and figured I could do this actually in the sink and look at my curls. Curls are popping. And next up, I'm going to use my conditioner. And I go in on conditioner. I use quite a bit. I will say, you guys, now that my hair is shorter, if I would have done this with my previous length, my neck and back would be hurting. My hair does not feel as heavy. It is still thick and dense, as you can see, but it does not feel as heavy. Um, so yes, these are my curls. I'm gonna rinse out the conditioner, and next you're gonna see me apply the deep conditioner, and I'm gonna do this in sections. Um, you can see the shrinkage I have here. Um, and I'm going to leave, I wanna leave the deep conditioner on for at least an hour, okay? I 
All right, you guys, so this is what my hair looks like with the deep conditioner washed out. It feels so soft. I do have several different DIY deep conditioner videos using those same ingredients. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the Lotta Body. I typically add my leave-in conditioner um, right afterwards because my hair is wet. And um, I don't section it off. I just smooth it through. Yes, look at Lotta Body. Now I know I'm not catching that back, but I'll just turn around so you guys can see what it looks like. Add my oils, and I like to, you know, just smooth from root to end, and that's when I begin to section off my hair. Look at that. I'm going to church this week, so I will probably style my hair, uh, excuse me, I'm re-moisturizing it in two or three more days, depending on if I need it and then style my hair the night before. Yeah, I don't use a lot of expensive products for um, my wash day. The most expensive products are typically my stylers. Um, but even then, I don't spend no more than 10, 10 bucks or so. So that is it everyone. Thank you so much for watching and thank you as always to all of my subscribers. Take care, Yo. bye.